Okay guys, quick update for Bitcoin. Let me give you key support and just levels to pay attention to. If you watched the last video, I told you that I expected Bitcoin to pump. I was giving you likely upside targets. Yes, we did push above that target a bit, but we still caught this wick to the exact damn dollar. Remember, you can access all these live charts on the website, pin first comment description. It's my big affiliate link. It's also pin first comment description as well. So this previous video, I suggest you watch it. I'll put a link up to it now. I was showing you why it was likely these were upside targets to pay attention to. Again, price is fluid, guys. The best I can do is, is show you why these targets are likely. And then again, I keep you updated in Twitter and Discord, and I'll show you how we found that exact top. So you can see right here, uh, this was the first point I said that could be a possible top because this right here, this is the, the trajectory price we're expecting. This was the meat of the candle. We hit this and got rejected and came down. We pushed back up. And yes, we did push above my target I gave you that I said was probably an absolute top. We did push above it. But notice we came back down, and this is now support that's breaking around 23,600. So again, this chart did play out. I can only give you the best it's, that I can do with the chart. But price does, you know, price changes hour to hour. That's why I keep you updated on Twitter and Discord. And, and I prepared you. I got you ready. Uh, I said right here. I still think this is nothing more than an epic bull trap. We do push up further. These are the two points I'm watching too short. So I was getting you ready. I said, look, the M1 line. I knew this is going to be strong resistance. But I found other charts. They had two other charts in confluence. That's why I said going heavy short at 24,300, 24,400. So I told you this would be the point too short. Uh, if we go on a little further. So, and, and again, this is the ring that, that, that confirmed for me that this was a top too short. Right here, uh, this is from this chart. This is a, a tweet I made 15 hours ago. So this chart is called the Bitstamp 2.0 BTC USD 51220. I created this chart in 2000, uh, 2020, and that's why I had it archived, because I knew it would come in handy later. I said, uh, it's under archive chart section. Uh, notice ring matches, same resistance level in M1 chart. This is key. This is confluence, second chart. See previous post. One I just showed you. This chart could be in confluence for a top. And what I was showing, notice right here, we got rejected and came down. We we're pushing up. This was this was the next point to get rejected. This target 24,400 was in confluence with the M1 chart. So I was saying it was likely a top. And you can see what happened. Right back here, this was resistance. We got rejected, so it made complete sense. We hit that literally to the dollar and came down. Uh, this right here, so and I was preparing you. I told you exactly where I was going to short. I said, by the way, I'm locked and loaded if we push up. I'll let you know my current entry short and stop loss, which I did on the chart. I said, if you, have access, if you have access to the M1 chart, white ring has been added. The white ring on that chart I just showed you added to the M1 chart. It says added to the, uh, to the M1 chart. My entry is marked by a purple price label. And look what happened. We hit it and got rejected to the dollar right here. So that is why I added this ring so we knew exactly where to short. So yes, we pushed above my target a bit, but everybody's happy because we caught this top and it's coming down. Currently, you can see uh, price has already come down uh, almost 4%. That is one hell of a short. This is another chart that was in confluence. And take note, this yellow line, orange, red, and white, are the same exact lines right here. This is on the daily, right? Look at it on the, uh, <laughs> this is on the two hour. Notice how well we respected this. We, we pushed up, we got rejected as resistance. The next line ended up being resistance. So this was your support, resistance, support, we pushed up. And yes, guys, sometimes resistance will flip as support. So I said, while this was likely a top, while price pushed above it, notice it became support. That's what, how well price is respecting it. And notice what happened. Another chart in confluence with 24,400. Three charts. That's why I knew that was likely point to short and likely a top. And look at us coming down now. So I will give you key support in this levels, guys. Uh, these are people that played my call. Right here, 246% profit, 158. Some of these are 40 times, 60 times, 100 times, 125 times leverage, 19%. Not sure what this person did here. Uh, 240, 294% uh, profit, 100 times leverage. They got in at 24,420. 226% uh, profit. Uh, they got in at 24,470. Uh, 301 percent they got it at 24,440 so guys I give you the targets ahead of time so you know where to short 130 percent profit 31 204 55 123 426 percent profit 125 times leverage 61 133 130 105 74 174 31 71 uh, this person I don't know why they entered uh, they didn't use a stop loss 
twenty percent, one twenty three. This person made one thousand three hundred fifteen dollars on that trade. They got in at they got in right at my target, twenty three thousand four fifty. Sixty seven percent, hundred fifty percent, sixty uh seventy six, one forty six, one twenty three, forty four, twenty four, fifty two, one fifty one. 214% profit, 72. It just keeps going, guys. So everybody played it, and everybody's happy. Uh, so right here, and, and I see the last video, people made a lot of comments. Wrecked. You don't know what you're talking about. You know, the, the funny thing is, is when people say wrecked, and, and I say that, you know, we were putting in shorts. Actually, every single short played out. Well, yes, price kept pushing up. Notice what happened here. Price pushed up and got rejected right here. So what happens is you enter your short. You know exactly where to short. When price comes down, you set your stop just below. So that way if price pushes back up, you break even or you're still in profit. Price pushed back up, you had your next point to short. So when price came back down, you set your stop just below so you break even or profit. This, this drop right here was 2.13%. This drop right here was 1.22%. And had you followed me on Twitter and Discord, you knew to short right up here at 24,400. Now you can see your current resistance is 22,849, your next support is 22,864, and your next support below that is 22,435. And we know, based on this chart right here, uh, where's that ring? So we know right here, if we if if I'm wrong and we push above this and this holds support, we well, you know the next point to put in a heavy ass short is right here, and you know your next point too long is right down here. So guys, that's what I do. I help you get the best entry points to long and short. Uh, and guys, if you do want to get into uh, doing leverage trading, I use BitGet, love the platform. Uh, if you want to use my BitGet fill link, it's pinned to first comment description. If you want to practice doing trades, it's called simulated trades, so you can get comfortable with the platform and know what you're doing. I have a tutorial, I'll put a link up to that video now. If you do want to access these charts, guys, the website's optrecrypto.com. That link can be pinned to first comment description for $49 a month to get access to uh, Bitcoin charts, altcoin charts, Discord, and Twitter. So if you want to sign up, it's up to you, but guys, I will keep you updated. I still believe what I said. It was a top. We're coming down, and we caught this to the damn dollar. That's it, guys. I'm out. Trade safe. Trade smart. Peace.